out with my baby. We're going to go get my other baby from work. And we're going to take them to the grocery store. And we need to get dinner. Yeah, so she didn't cook us so good because mama's been slacking a little bit. <laughs> Everybody's all grown. You got it. Guys, I have gotten in the truck and Key gonna take me to the store. Lily and KK, they're going another direction. So, I'm gonna get Key to take me to the store. So I'm sitting outside his job waiting for him to come out. So, but I was trying to decide on whether I wanted to do a roast or what. And so, I think I'm gonna have the roast for tomorrow, but I'm gonna go and get it today. And um, cook maybe like fish, rice, and stuff like that today. That that would be really, really good. I thought I'd get on here to chat with y'all a little bit since I had to wait. Wait on my husband to come out of O'Reilly. Waiting on him to come out. And my baby got me a drink out of her job. Woo! Y'all still, y'all see, I still got on my Sunday fun day tank top because I've been really at home relaxing, um, trying to stay out of this heat as much as possible. Um, yesterday, like I told you guys, I had shared with you guys that I didn't feel my best. So today, I literally did nothing. Um, I literally stayed in the house all day up until now. Yeah, I'm just now going to get out. And I'm not really getting out. I'm just going to go and get my roast so I can cook it first thing in the morning. Because I like my roast to cook all day. Um, some roast potatoes, maybe some carrots, celery, and stuff like that in there. Be good. Okay, guys, I got two. We got two roasts. We're gonna cook them both because we like the roast. Like, it doesn't be enough. It doesn't seem like to be enough. So, we're gonna do two this time with some carrots, some celery, and potatoes and then we got these drinks we love these little drinks these juices are good and then i got some greens i'm gonna cut up and clean i'm not gonna cook them today though but they had a good deal on their greens so no it's not <laughs> okay guys i am back i pretty much got everything set up to do a little cook with me type of uh, vloggy vlog but anyway this is the roast we got chuck it say Chuck Roll Roast, but I like the marbling of this. It just, this is the roast I like to use. Okay. And what I do is I put a little grease in my pan. I season it, flour it, and then I sear it on each side for a little while to let it caramelize. And then I put it into the water and I let it cook. I just let it slow cook the rest of the day and it makes its own gravy when I do it that way. So, I guess I'll let you guys into that, okay? Huh? What, well, baby? Huh? You need a bowl? Ha <laughs> ha! You can talk. They ain't gonna say, they not gonna say nothing. But now the problem is trying to get the bowl. <laughs> Without knocking over the camera. There we go. So guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna flour them. First, we're gonna wash them off though, rinse them off. And season them. rinse this off. Okay, I'm going to 
turn these on so the water can start to boil and then the grease I need it to start to uh okay so right now I'm just going to tenderize this meat using a little bit of tenderizer which ain't going to do nothing but soak down into the meat a little bit of lari seasoning season salt and whatever you do to one side please do the, to the other side uh, some people cook where they only season one side of their meat i don't understand that but this is a complete seasoning that i had told you guys about a while back in my vlogs it's pretty good you can pretty much use it on everything that you cook it could be even a um a bowl of greens or something this is just really any kind of poultry beef fish like seafood anything this can go on anything it's really good this is a little garlic salt and then we're going to put a little bit of black pepper on as well don't really have to have a lot of that because it'd be in my gravy anyway now I'm going to turn this over and repeat everything that we just did on the opposite side, okay? So we're going to start with the tenderizer. And like I said, you don't have to be stingy with that because it's not going to do anything but make sure your meat is good and tender. Then some lari. The complete. Like I said, we normally do one roast, but we're going to eat on this for a couple of days. Maybe not. It might. <laughs> and then the garlic salt. Okay, now I'm going to pull this over. And we're going to get some flour. You don't need a lot. I'm going to put that in this plate. I don't know if you guys can see that. But in this plate right here, I'm just adding a little bit of flour that I'm going to use to sit the roast on and flip it over a few times. Can you guys see? Okay. Just going to flip it over a few times. And then I'm going to sit it over right here so it can kind of adhere to the meat. And we're going to do the same thing to the other one. My fan. That's nothing. Muffin, y'all used all the grease and didn't tell me. Where I couldn't even finish my meal. Like, I had to, I'm sitting here scrapping because I didn't know I didn't have no grease. Yeah. That's the real life. I forgot. I'm sorry. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Now, that right there. Excuse me. We put it in the grease and let it kind of caramelize on each side. And when I do that, guys, that makes the gravy in the long run. Once this get into the boiling water, it's going to start creating a roux, which is going to start creating a gravy base. So really at the end, I'm only going to need a little bit of thickening a little bit of thickening, um, like a little flour water mixture. Pour in that and it'll make sure it's really thick or to your taste of how thick you want your gravy. So we're gonna let that hang out a second. Woo, y'all excuse my house because I don't even know if it's clean. But I will be cleaning it up in another little video. Now the potatoes, um, the carrots and celery, all that I'm gonna get chopped up. Um, let me stop my knife. But I'm gonna chop these up a little bit, and just a little bit. 
to put in here, but we don't put that in that early. Now we're gonna flip this over. Guys, look, this is what I mean by caramelized. Do you see this um, breading that it created on top? You don't disturb that, you just let that sit there and then I'm going to add it to the water, okay? Now once you do that, you add it over to the boiler of water, like so. And then we're gonna put the other one in the skillet and let it do the same thing. Okay, let's turn this over. Look at that nice caramelization on that roast. one. I'm just losing all the carrots like I'm just cutting them in half basically because you don't want them to be mushy so you want them to be at least a moon cut or something like that so that it can withstand the length of time the last portion of the roast needing to cook that's when you put these in Then we need our celery. I just put a couple of stalks, a few stalks in there. Okay. Cut off those little ends and then that little part and then we're going to chop the rest just like that you want big um big chunks for that as well they just sit a while now I'm going to do a little bit of onion. Just like that. And then chop it in pieces such as that. And then we just put those there. And like I said, these quarter cut, oh, you do not want that little peel part on there. Make sure you get that off. Okay, and this is how your vegetables look. And that's what we're gonna put inside of our roast, y'all. And it's gonna be so good. We're gonna make some cornbread. You know I gotta have cornbread with everything. Okay, so. So you guys have basically, hold on. Okay, so you guys have basically seen me get the first steps down pat. Excuse this head, y'all, I look a hot mess, but anyway. 
Y'all seen the first part. Okay. So, now we're just gonna let it cook a little bit. Let that hang out for a while, cause it's going to take a while. I'm just going to straighten up a little bit, try to clean this up some. While this is cooking. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna get back on here and finish this dinner up with you guys in a little bit. But as you can see, this kitchen is a hot ass mess and I don't even know how I didn't clean up today. I, I didn't move not one item today and that's not normal, not for me, cause I clean all day long. So I'm gonna tackle it now because that's one of my pet peeves. I cannot stand a dirty ass kitchen. Excuse my language. I can't stand that. I can't stand a dirty house, period. So definitely not a kitchen, okay? The kitchen has got to be cleaned at all times. So, yeah. Walk past her, let me see what she does. I just want to see, like, what, what is she doing? I just can't believe she acting right. Walk fast, just walk past her, walk afraid to walk well my cat is being a butt like I don't understand what's wrong with Molly and why Molly is being like that Miss Molly okay she being so mean to Kay like she she's sitting here scratching at Kay for no reason and Molly normally is a good, she normally a good cat so with that said, I'm just gonna have to wait and see what her problem is. Ain't that right, Molly? Y'all, Molly is my cat. Hold on, let me show you her. There she go. Y'all see mama? Say hi, Molly. That's my baby, y'all. Say hi, mama. Hello. Say hey. She's saying hey, y'all. Yeah, that's that wet. <laughs> now, come on, let me see. Come on, I'll pass her, boo. No, mom. Come on, let's see. I want to see. I'm going to bust her. Come on. I got you. Come on. <laughs> mom, don't you what know you do mom. is walk, look straight at me. Don't even look at her. Don't even, just walk straight. See, you acting scared already. <laughs> They can, they can sense that. See, she think it's something wrong. See, just, no. just walk past her. I'm gonna put me on some boots. See, see, that's why she's 
Molly, you got to stop being mean to Kay. Hell yeah, Molly be tagging. I'm like, Molly did it today too. I don't know why. I don't know why Molly do that. Yeah, she need to get back in the restroom. It's time for Jules to come in. She's so mean. I tried to do her and Jules the same when you first came. Kind of kept them at bay because I didn't know how they was going to act. And I just knew Jules would be the one acting funny because remember how she would bark and stuff. Then she done calm down. But this little hey, you got dumb cat. Hmm. Hey, you got that stuff all on in that room? What? Me up up what y'all gonna watch? Oh, what should we watch? Caleb was the one to see that she always wanted to Caleb was going to play down because Caleb was on her phone. Like she always does. Oh, Caleb. Okay, well, so yeah. Because I didn't even know it was a problem. Okay, guys. We back. I'm back. We had to take a little, little pause for the cause. Okay. Now. Like I said, I got everything pretty much cleaned up. As y'all can see over there. I know I, I didn't put this up there on my camera. I guess I did. I had to rewash my camera off. Let me put this up. This stuff off my floor. But yeah, y'all, that, that rose is going to be swinging. I wish you guys could taste it. But unfortunately, you guys cannot. But if you cook along with me, you can have the same thing. And it should come out the same because you're watching what I do. Okay. So, we're going to leave the vegetables there. I'm going to cover them up. And let this roast cook for a while. I put more water in there. Yeah. I'm going to put more water in it. That way I don't have to worry about it cooking down too fast. But that would be the worst thing that could happen. You burn your roast because you're upstairs or you are in the middle of doing something else that you felt was more important than watching your food. And then your food burns. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. So I ain't got to worry about that. Okay. Do not have to worry about it being burnt. And then I'm just gonna, I put it on two. I don't know what kind of stove you guys got, but I put mine on two, which is one notch from it's just being LO where the low sign is. So it still should cook, but not cook too fast. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do is get ready to put those vegetables in with our roast. We're about over halfway done. And that's the way I like it to be before I add my vegetables. Okay. So I got a little more water. My bad. I got a little more, um, water look at that i love coffee i love tea i love you and you love me that's my favorite cup i done chipped it over here or something but anywho let's get back to this we're going to pour the vegetables in there Just like that, y'all. And I don't need any water, water right now, but I'm gonna put a little bit. Okay. Put the lid back on and we'll check it in a minute. Okay, guys, so now, my bad. Anyway, now the process that I'm in is, got you guys in this shelf, on the shelf in the, in the cabinet. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys what this roast is looking like. 
since I got the vegetables in there. Yes, pure goodness, pure goodness. Okay, here it is, sheer goodness. Look at that. Carrots right there, you have your uh, celery right there. This is the mega roses, okay? The mama of all roast. This roast is so good. I guarantee you, you are sure to love this. So I'm going to put a little more thickening in here. Okay, I just have a cup here with a fork and the flour. You just take a little bit of flour and you put, you know, a nice generous amount in the cup. And then you're going to add water. And it's not a lot of water, guys. It's just enough to where it look kind of like milk, but a little thick, not too thin. So right here, what I have is this, the thickening. You probably can't see it. I'm not trying to spill it. But if you pay attention, you see me pouring it into here. Just like that. And then you just stir it. Woo. Mm. Hot but good. Mm. And that's just how I like the carrots. They're not mushy, but they're not crunchy. They're just right. I'll add a little salt, a little pepper. bit of seasoned salt. Ooh, that just left out of here. Where's she going? So I just mix this in. Just like that. Mix that in. And like, you just season it to your taste. Like if you don't taste, if it doesn't taste uh, like it has enough seasoning you just add and you just keep adding you know until it reaches your tongue palate basically whatever your taste bud is screaming for taste buds that's what you add to it right now you put your thickening in you add any extra seasoning at that point and let it get you know let it mix down in here okay I'm going to show you guys this part this is what it looks like when the the, the thickening is added can y'all see that see it's not too liquidy, runny, and it's not too thick. Look at that. It's just right. Oh, y'all, this is my... I love my roast. I mean, I, I don't have to toot my own horn, but I roast. My roast is so good. It is so good. So... We'll just let that cook a little bit more and it's done.
like I said, I wanted to cook dinner for tomorrow. So I don't have to cook. It is done today. Only thing we did was make like sandwiches or, you know, a little light food. So every now and then you just want to taste a little bit of this, a little bit of that, nothing major. So that's kind of like what we did today. And um, this is simmering. And when I come back down, it should be time to eat it. <laughs>